Okay, in this video, we're going to be writing sets of integers using set builder and roster form notation. Okay, so for the first problem here, we have roster form written negative uh, 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and we want to write this in set builder form. Okay, so set builder form is, you can see, here's an example of set builder form, and I can say this out in words. So this is y such that, that's that little line, means such that, so y such that, y is an integer, and an integer is like these things, negative three, negative two, all those whole number values, whether they're positive or negative. And then it also says uh, y has to be greater than or equal to negative one. Okay, so this is an example of set builder notation. So that's how we want to write this, okay? So there's two different ways that we can write this, and I'm going to show you both. First, we could write it like this. It is y such that y is an integer and and now we have to specify what kind of uh, integer we have. We can only have these on the list. So the first way we can write it like this. Negative 3 is less than or equal to y which is less than or equal to 2. Okay, so notice I put the equal to signs on there. So that includes the negative 3 and the negative 2. So when you write it like this, this is all the numbers, all the whole numbers between negative 3 and positive 2, including negative 3 and positive 2 because they were on the list. Okay, the other way of writing it is y such that y is an integer. And now we're going, going to write it slightly differently this time. I'm not going to use the equal to signs in, underneath. So since I, so I'm not going to use the equal to signs, I have to write it like this. Negative 4 is less than y is less than 3. Okay, so this is two different ways of writing this. The second way does not include the endpoint. So it's saying uh, all numbers between negative 4 and 3, but not including negative 4 and 3. Okay, so that would include negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. It would not include these endpoints. So both of these are correct, and both of them are an option of writing this in set builder form. Okay, now for the other direction, we're given it in set builder form, and we're asked to go the other direction. Okay, so y such that y is an integer, and y is greater than or equal to, that's the line underneath, negative 1. Okay, so if y is greater than or equal to negative 1, then the smallest number we have on our roster form is negative 1. And it includes it because of the equal to sign. And now it's greater than that, so we need to write bigger numbers. So what's the first whole number that's bigger than negative 1? 0, and then after that, 1, and then after that, 2, and you keep going. And in math, we, we can't just keep writing, you know, forever. So we say dot, dot, dot. This pattern continues and that's roster form. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. So we've got roster form is negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, dot, 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 which means this pattern continues. Okay, so again, we can write this in two different ways. We're dealing with X this in this problem, so I'll use X. So I'll say the first way we can write it is X such that X is an integer. And, okay, so the first time I want to use the equal to signs, okay, so I'm going to write it uh, including uh, this endpoint. So negative 4 is less than or equal to. The equal to sign means I'm including the negative 4, and that's what we want, um, is less than x, and that's it. Okay, so you could also write this if you wanted to write it the other way. You could... Uh, let's get rid of that and say, well, you could also write X has to be greater than or equal to negative four. Okay. So that's, that's both of those are correct, but usually you want the variable to be first. Okay. Um, and the other option of writing this is X such that X, and I'm just going to pretend I wrote all that. And this time I'm not going to use the, uh, less than or equal to sign. I'm strictly going to use the less than or greater than sign, and it will be X is greater than, and we can't use negative four, 
because number, negative four is on the list and we're not using the line underneath. So this would be greater than negative five. Okay. So X such that X is an integer and X is greater than negative five. That means it's not including this negative five. Okay. And it just keeps going forever uh, because of the dot, dot, dot. And there's no restrictions on how much greater than negative five it can be. Okay. Now for this one, X is an integer um, and two is less than or equal to X, which is less than or equal to five. Okay. So that includes, these are lines underneath, so that includes the endpoints. So the roster form would include, we would start with a five, or start with a two, three, four, and five. Okay, the reason we include, included the two and the five is because they were lines underneath. Okay, uh, let's do this third one. So we got the roster form two, three, four, five, dot, dot, dot. It means that pattern keeps going. Okay, so we could write this in two different ways. First way is y. I'm using y because of this. Y such that uh, y is an integer, and all these problems are going to be integers. Y is an integer, and okay, so y is it starts at two and just keeps getting bigger, right? So y is greater than or equal to two. Okay, the other way of writing this is y such that y dot, 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 whatever, I pretend I wrote that, and then it would be y is greater than, we can't use two, it would have to be greater than one, okay? So this is not including the one because there's no line underneath. So what's the next number greater than one? Well, it's the first number on our roster, two, three, four, five, okay? Um, and that's the two ways you could write that. Now, set builder form, y is an integer, um, and negative two is less than y, which is less than or equal to one. So this one's not including the negative two, but it is including the one. Okay, so all numbers between those, not including the negative two, so I'll start at negative one, zero, and one will be the last number, right? I include the one because of the line underneath. All right, last one. Okay, so we've got negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that would be x such that x is an integer and x is greater than or equal to negative six. Okay, so it's, that line says it's including the negative six, which is on our roster. So this is one possibility. Uh, the other way to write it without using the equal to sign, it would be strictly x is greater than negative seven. Okay. And then for our last part of this problem, x is an integer, um, x such as x is an integer, and 5 is less than x is less than 9. Notice there's no lines underneath, so it's not including those endpoints. So 5 and 9 are not included. Uh, but what are the other numbers between 5 and 9? Well, we have 6, 7, and 8. And that's it.